Exclusive on KORD. Today's continuous country. It's 102.7 KORD, 808, and hi, Garth Brooks. We made that custom intro just for you. Good. How are you doing? I guess... uh, That was sad. (laughs) I guess question number one for you is, so we can kind of set the stage here, where are you? Where are you calling us from? Well, I'm calling you in... uh, The snowy land Nashville right now got about five or six inches last night. Uh, you guys are probably, I don't know, 70 sweet and clear and everything. But we're yeah, under pretty snow much. here. But here's <laughs> the good news, fellas. Good Lord willing, we get out of here today and we play Buffalo tonight. So the weather should be getting better. <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Who booked this gig? <laughs> it's the Garth Brooks Snow Trail Tour. <laughs> Man, we, we survived Detroit and Boston, and now we're going to Buffalo. So this is uh, this has been fun, though. But the crowds, you would never know it. And the, the crowds leave it all out, out in the street, and they just, uh, they're having a great time. Oh, that's excellent. So, uh, yeah, we are actually getting sunny and 70 this weekend. It's It's been an, un, an unusual winter for us while the Midwest and the, the East have all gotten bombed and everything like that. So you're going to have a fine time when you come to see us in April in Portland. Tickets go on sale tomorrow morning, 10 o'clock sharp. Win them before you can buy them here in just a couple of minutes. We're going to give away uh, some Garth Brooks tickets for the Sunday show. He's going to be performing April 12th, Sunday. And April 13th, Monday, in Portland. Again, all the information on how to order your tickets. There's several different ways how to get your tickets. And as always, Garth is just amazing and making it, uh, you know, one price, $64.75, plus the, plus the tax, plus the service charge. $74.89, whether you're sitting in the front or sitting in the back. First come, first serve. So that's uh, 10 o'clock tomorrow sharp. Probably the best thing to do is Ticketmaster.com slash Garth Brooks. And we've got an 800 number here, too. You just check out our web page and get all that information. Tell us about Man Against Machine. I, I watched, uh, I listened to every single slice of song on your web page last night. And listened oh, to man. you describe every single song. And the passion you have for this album is uh, high. Very sweet. Uh, the passion that we've always had for every album we do is high because you, you live with it so long. And you and these things are like your own children. And then what you do when you go out live is the question is how much are we going to hear of it live? Are you going to you going to dump a whole new album on us? What are you going to do? And the answer is easy, guys. I I'm I'm a regular guy. I I pay my money and I go see the guys I love. But when I go there, if they've got a new album out, great. Let me hear a song or two from it. But hit me with the old stuff. That's what I came here for. So we did the same thing on No Fences, Rope in the Wind, The Chase, In Pieces, Sevens. It didn't matter what it was. You'll sprinkle a little bit of a new album, but mostly we're bringing our old stuff with us. That is great to hear. My <laughs> wife said last night as uh, we were going over this stuff together, she's like, I want to hear Garth's old stuff, too. And I said, don't worry, honey. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure there's going to be a part where he says, you already know what's coming, don't you? <laughs> and you're right. <laughs> that was great. I don't even know where that was from. That was That was right. We've got a, a, one of the songs on the album is called Tacoma. And I was like, oh, cool. I was born in Tacoma. And uh, you mentioned on your website that uh, you always put your favorite song at the end. And Tacoma's right there at the end. What, why does Tacoma have such a special meaning to you? Oh, my gosh, guys. I don't know what it is about that song, but it's, it's one of those songs that sounds like it was written 50 years ago. And it's a remake of an old R&B standard kind of thing. So it just sat, it just sat in my lap so comfortably. And it was so much fun to sing. And uh, I just, uh, a lot of times, the reason why the song is the last one on the album, like the dance, like the river, is there's nothing that can follow it. And that was that was the deal with Tacoma. Oh, well, nothing that can follow it. Yeah, it's nice, awesome. Nice way to put it. Hey, Garth, if you don't mind, we've got some questions from some listeners. Um, oh, yeah. Th- cool. that we, we promised we'd ask during this interview. Fred in Hermiston wants to know, and I love this question because it's just short and simple. 
Hey, how was your vacation? <laughs> <laughs> Greatest gift I have ever been given, guys, from God and the people, to, to be able to afford time off to get to be at every soccer practice, every talent show, every yeah, parent-teacher meeting. You. It was awesome. Now, truthfully, my kids might roll their eyes and, and tell it different, like, oh, my God, they were at every practice, every, you know. <laughs> but it was it was sweetest gift. I know my children inside and out and yep. uh, just just love that gift. Can't thank you enough for it. What, uh, what, what other question do you have over there? There was uh, one about Trisha's cooking. Oh, yeah. What's your favorite meal that Trisha makes? Oh Stephanie my gosh, she makes mashed potatoes, guys, and, and she does it so quick. You, you can't, you can't. It's like <laughs> they taste like she spent hours on them, and she just whips them up. It's natural. But guys, I'm telling you, they go with everything: Captain Whoa. Crunch, ice cream. It's, <laughs> Wait, I didn't know what it was. What is it again? Mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes. <laughs> oh, mashed taters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, taters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what else you got over there? Crystal Greg? wants to know what's the one thing you do right before you step on stage. Well, I always uh, kiss the queen uh, for good luck and just uh, give her a smack and tell her I'll see you out there on stage. So that's kind of like uh, the good luck charm. And then we go to the uh, used to go to the band room, find all the all the band crew. We get in for the handshake, right. you know, the the superstitious uh, handshake before we go out, and then uh, just hit it. I'm I'm out there way before anybody else is because uh, I've got to make my way out the stage because uh, we have a, a reveal out there. So I'm out there kind of early. So it's, it's a good thing. We're talking to Garth Brooks this morning. Long before I knew you were calling this morning, uh, I made a blog on 1027KORD.com of this awesome video that crossed my path of you and Justin Timberlake in Nashville <laughs> tearing up friends in low places. And it was it was great to see that, you know, look, you go Justin Timberlake's one of the great talents of all time. You know that. Amen. Agreed. And and he he when he when he does that those first couple of chords of uh, friends in uh, low places and the crowd they're there to they see go a, crazy they're there to see a Justin Timberlake <laughs> show and they know they know it's friends and so and all of a sudden then you come on stage so how does that work does Justin just call you up and go hey Garth listen how you doing man <laughs> yeah that's that's pretty it's pretty surreal uh, you know because. My wife's hanging on my arm going, oh, my God, is that Justin Timberlake that's texting you? I said, yeah. And he wants to do friends when we're here in Nashville. And and uh, so she was excited because she got to go to the show. And everybody's been so sweet. But I got to tell you, man, uh, Nickelback does it in their show. And, uh, you know, I get to see versions of a lot of people doing their show in, uh, on YouTube and stuff. And it's, uh, it's, it's pretty humbling, pretty flattering because I know the covers I do in our show and uh you know our covers are some of the greatest the greatest songs of all time not saying that friends of old places is that song but that's, that's a pretty sweet nod yeah i would say yeah now do your kids come to you and say dad can you hook me up with some tickets to see justin <laughs> <laughs> i tell you during the time off i did my rounds and oh, i can I tell you did. this that there is a frequency that little girls make Yes. On the Taylor Swift show, on the Jonas Brothers show. Yes. Oh, yeah. On these things. There's a frequency that dads go, what is that? <laughs> it's, it's pretty crazy, man. I got, to, I got to see a lot of stuff from the other side of the stage, too. That's just a fan with my kids watching, watch people. It was, it was it was a cool learning experience. Yeah, you know, I'll bet that I'll bet that really was. <laughs> it, it's it's kind of like uh, really stepping. I hate to be cliche, but, you know, totally outside that box, right? Yeah, man, and it's it, and it's and it's sweet because then you you also get you know it's like when I go see George Strait or when I go see uh, James Taylor or, or go, go see Bruno Mars. We just saw Beyonce in Vegas. You get the fan experience. You get to walk in. You get to hand your tickets. You get to see your seats of people around you and stuff. And that's that's as important as learning anything on stage is learning what people go through, you know, off stage to get there too. Because you know, back in the day when. I went to concerts before I ever got to play them myself. Things have changed a lot since then, so it's cool to be kept up on that stuff. You're probably the most genuine individual, uh, I, from my experience uh, in, in country radio, 
uh, and, and probably on the planet. And everybody's a big fan, and we want to thank very much. Thank you very much for taking the time. I, I was. I got to tell you something. I went to bed last two nights thinking <laughs> I'm talking to Garth Brooks on Thursday morning. <laughs> so, pretty, pretty cool. Pretty cool. You, for what, us. what kind of dreams did you have? Did we. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, well, I don't want to hear we'll this. <laughs> <laughs> Garth Brooks just made me speechless. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Hey, Garth, Guys, I can't can... thank you enough, man. Oh, I appreciate it, and good luck to all of us tomorrow morning. It's going to be fun. Oh, you bet. And if you can, ha- oh, tomorrow morning's going to be huge, and uh, don't worry about a thing. If you can hang on for one second off the air, I need you for uh, for that. And, uh, Garth, thanks again. We'll talk to you soon. Thank you, guys. And see you in Portland. Yes! Greg and Woody in the morning, and today's continuous country favorites all day. 102.7 KORD.